Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ramon, the leader of the Snap, and today we're playing Mr. Negative. And Negative has been a card I've been experimenting a lot in the recent patch, and I've noticed one thing. Negative is really bad. Like, Negative is still not great. He is a combo deck, at least on EU, that dies to the most simple points of interaction. But what is a thing you can just swap into Negative? That's the Living Tribunal, and this is the new Hella replacement, in my opinion. Like, this is the combo deck to beat. And it's just like, do you have the out? Do you have Enchantress? Do you have Rogue? Do you have the guy, Red Guardian? And that's the thing. A lot of people misuse Red Guardian by playing him immediately on 3. Where you're just like, okay, I guess we die if they Red Guardian the Iron Man. But they just do it early anyway. So you just never die to it. And you can just sometimes even lead by just playing Ravona in front of everything. And then just say, okay, you'll have to hit Ravona because I don't still have priority. I just played the Living Tribunal to lose priority. Because if you just play Living Tribunal instead of Onslaught, then you will just realize one thing. You won't have enough power. You'll just be winning one lane or you'll be losing two. It'll always be fine. But now, let's go quickly into deck edit and cover the Living Tribunal's options. Of course, the most irreplaceable card is Ravona Renslayer. Ravona Renslayer lets you play negative, of course, one turn early. You have Jubilee Axes, then Mystique costs one less. You have Iron Man. It's all so, it's just, it's just so good. Mystique to copy, of course, Iron Man. Blue Marvel, and of course, Onslaught or Sarah. Depends what you really need sometimes, even Super Scroll and the, of course, negative mirrors that can happen. Magic is just to extend the game. You really need this card. This card is absolutely perfect. And as long as people don't have Nocturne, you're probably good to go. Mr. Negative to make your cards actually worth using, like Iron Man, Blue Marvel, Sarah, and everything else. Like Super Scroll, Jubilee, everything gets powered up, but some things get powered down, like the Living Tribunal, Onslaught. Of course, our good friend Ravona Renslayer, when she stays in the deck, she just really gets power down. It's the worst card to draw. Super Scroll for the negative mirrors, and sometimes you just get Ida Sarah for free. You have Iron Lad to hit a card from your deck. Iron Man, who's a 0 5 or a 5 0. Both of them are pretty good because, of course, Ravona Synergy, or he's just a 0 5 who doubles your power. That's pretty good. Blue Marvel to double your power everywhere, basically, with the Living Tribunal line. That's basically how Blue Marvel works. Sometimes it's even smarter to just put down Sarah. Put down Onslaught, and then, of course, Mystique, Blue Marvel, and try to win that way. Sarah, of course, like I said, to reduce your cards, you're basically playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Onslaught is Onslaught, you know how cool he is, especially if you had this variant. He doubles the other ongoing effects, which is, of course, insane. And finally, the Living Tribunal. He's the name piece of the deck. You really need to run him. He's just that good. But, boys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure, of course, get a like, comment, subscribe, make sure to follow my Twitch channel below. And now, let's get snapping! Yeah, guys, we're gonna be playing Negative Tribunal, and this is the best Negative deck right now. All those White Tiger Sage decks that are just coping out of their mind, they're only good, apparently, on NA because they're the only players who lose to it. Like, I look at the streams, and I'm just like, why are you Pope's thing? Just leave. Just get out of there. You don't have to stay in. Why are you still there? That's my question for all the NA players who keep overstaying their welcome. But you know what I have to say? Like, this deck, this feels pretty good. Like, the RNG hits are good, you mostly always win against any, any of the combo decks, because none of them run the tech. And you just kind of steamroll most decks that just do not have Enchantress, and that always feels good. Like, hey, perfect matchup. Ella, don't draw Iron Man. Stop filling my hand up! That's the one thing I have to request, simply to the Marvel Snap game decks. Can you stop filling my hand up with useless shit? I do not want to see. I don't want to use the hub. Or anything. Like, we have negative on curve with Viper of all things. Like, this has to be good. Mini Lab. Mini Lab is fine. I'll play negative into Viper into goddamn Jubilee and be the Iron Chef. Just kill our opponent on the spot. Woo. Lady Sif. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Like, they have 20-something power there. I guess I'll go for Blue Marvel, because really, why not? Actually, I'll go for Jubilee, because we're chasing currently. We're just, got, we're just trying to chase them down. Yeah, but like, uh, the Strange Academy is fucky. It's really fucky. I, I don't really like that location. But yeah, we're just gonna go for Jubilee, because there's so many good hits in the deck. Let's go. Jubilee, bring out. Perfect. Actually, just perfect. That is insanely nice. That's what you like to see. As a negative player, the best thing to see in the world is that. Uh, Magneto was not discarded yet, was he? If not, that is pretty looking pretty tasty to me. I'll go for a Super Scroll left into a Blue Marble right. And the blue, I mean, it's super scroll left in the blue marble mid. 
Now we just need to... Oh, are you serious? Alright. Alright, of course man thing is the randomly generated card, but okay, of course. I have infinite power. If I onslaught mid, I never lose. I can just make an infinite loop. Of power. Ella? He just used his strongest thing. And wasted it. I mean, we always just... Like, what's better? What's really better, actually? Is it just better to onslaught mid? Yeah, absolutely. Like... That's like, 70 gazillion activations of Blue Marl just go off King, like he's fucking dead as shit, there's nothing he can do ever. Or is it just better to... Yeah, like, because this is multiplicative. Stacking power is stacking power, it always murders him. Because now, no matter how much power he puts out left, he never wins, because this happens. I just play Iron Man, Iron Man currently has 11 attack, and then just Living Tribunal cancels it all out, making an absolutely goddamn ad infinite loop. Yes, very interesting, very sexy Hello Player, but like... Did he roll everything right? What a god! You just have to roll like a god, you know, but like... There's four cubes for us, that's how negative performs against other combo decks. And that's also just really good. Like, you just gotta play the Living Tribunal because this deck is one of the decks I think you need to learn to climb in the game. But Omic, like, this deck is really boring. Dude, if you think the Living Tribunal is boring, having an infinite power output and only losing to, like, one niche deck card that nobody really gives a damn about anymore... Like, man, you need to find more fun decks. Like, dude, this deck is really fun. This guy, I think, is playing Flog, so I think this will be quite an uninteresting game. If he snaps here, we're just gonna leave, because fuck that, I'm not gonna play into the... White Widow Turbo, like, fuck White Widow. I'm not gonna just play around it. I quite like Bar Sinister, Bar Sinister is quite good for us, most of the time. Uh, Krakoa, I'll get rid of. Because it's quite annoying. Hmm... Red Guardian, of all things. I'll play negative, because they didn't draw Iron Man yet. If at, if at any point he snaps, we're just gonna leave. Is this Leech Blink? I think so. Annihilus, I guess. Annihilus Cersei or something. Mr. Negative is just Mr. Negative, like he's the bomb. Uh, we always- we Ceramid. And then we just sleep. We Ceramid and we sleep. Like, it doesn't really matter, like, now we have... Infinite... We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> we have no costs, nothing, we just need to draw one more card. That's good. Alright, like... Man, I actually got Prof X. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? If he can't White Widow me right now, I can Onslaught... Okay. I'll pass. I can still draw one card. That's fine. Well, there's the Iron Man. I can't really go for infinite power, but I can just give a big, very big man out power output. Do I snap this? What if he plays like a life? Fuck it, then he plays a life. Let's snap. Let's go. If he plays a life, I'll face it with I'll face it with glory. Like I'll die like a man. I'm willing to die. To the idiot. Known as Purple Fart Cloud Turbo. I'm fine. Mostly because of Silk. Plus, we have a disgusting power output on everything else. So we always win Limbo. 
Prof X was really a bad one. I, I won't lie, that roll fucking sucked, but you know, like for us. Okay, Jeff. Mockingbird. Wait! Okay. Behold my mighty hand. We are Iron Man. I do what I can because I'm Iron Man. We get away with it. One power to spare. Because Silk missed the... No, actually not that. It's not that at all. But yeah, we win another four cubes. Like, we have to snap. That's how we just climb with Tribunal. We just keep snapping people. And they cope stay. When I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, Jesus Christ, people cope stay negative Tribunal for some reason. Like, oh man, it's such a... It's kind of bad when you see people just overstay so rough. Most, uh, rough games most of the time, but like Ravona, if we draw it ever on curve, she's like insane. I didn't get to show up Iron Lad yet, I think. Okay, Prof X on mid lane. We have Magic. Magic's a good one. We didn't draw Iron Man yet, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, in before, like, and before he just off the top. Ravona Renslayer. So is this like another clog deck? I don't like Grand Central. I don't like that. I don't like Grand Central. I don't want him to get it more value than I ever could. Now we just need to get a little cheeky with it and we'll be fine. Okay. Why is it always like just... Well, now we have to get absolutely god draws. But he does have Nocturne, so rough. Man, okay, it's it's only natural that you would lose like a matchup like this. I guess I'll go for Sarah, right? Not like he has to worry about Super Giant or anything, but like. Nocturne just- oh my god, he actually does run the tech against Living Tribunal. There's the US agent. Well, god damn it, who, who knew? I don't know how much power this is, but it's a shitload. You guys think I can win? I'll, I'll stay, because I'm a cope-staying guy at heart. Tell him. He has fucking Iron Man with lit. Okay, that is insane. That is like an insane deck. It won't be enough, I think. Like, we're close. We almost had it, but... Iron Man... Pina, really, dude? Like that's how good your hand is? It's kind of ridiculous how good hands people can get. Oh, that one hurt for the soul. Like, not only did he have every answer for everything, he also had U.S. Agent in his Iron Man deck. Like, are you serious? Right? If I played that left, I was dead every step of the way. It's like I knew it. It's like I had a sense for it, but like, eh. Oh my god, he played Iron Man, we have Super Scroll in the deck, like, holy shit. But the Super Scroll will kill us, actually. I don't know, I don't know what's with the goddamn li Okay, that's a good one, but like, hey, US Agent is a card. Two cost, win any Living Tribunal game. That's why I'm like, why do people co keep calling this deck cringe when it gets killed by every single tech card in the game? Just because you can't play against Tribunal in your special little ways. Like, we love seeing Tribunal here in Top Infinite. Ooh, man. These are pretty good so far. These locations look favorable to us. Now we just need one thing. Anything. Like, we just need a little bit of something. Like, a little bit of spice. Because we currently have nothing. We don't have magic. We don't have mystique. We don't have Ravona. We don't have Onslaught. It's another goddamn Sentry Annie deck. Because of course it is. Because no one else is playing anything else. I'll go for the Ironist of Lads. Uh, I'll go for it on Limbo. 
Because I don't want to swap Elysium out. Elysium he gives me more shit than it gives it to him. He just dies on Elysium while I win. Unless Mobius and Mobius makes an appearance. Like he always does when this location pops up. It's like, oh look! Finally! Every single game. Like, every single game ends up like that. But hey. Hey, we're fine. Probably. If he snaps, I'm just gonna play... I'm gonna exchange the Iron Lad for the Super Scroll instead. Like, not even gonna think about it. Just immediately gonna do that. And pivot to that. It'll be fine. Maybe. I'm just so tired of seeing Elysium and then just... On oh, next second! Hey, here's Mobius! It's Mobius, everyone! There's... Wow! It's Mobius. Sentry. Okay. So it's Sentry and Isles. Nico Minoru with the demon effect. That's actually nice. Good, good call by me. It's like, it's like I just know these things. Like I'm the goddamn Iron Chef. Let me guess, he also runs US Agent for some godforsaken reason. But yeah, like, let's go, Iron Man. If he plays Mobius, I'm fucking dead now, but like... I just need to draw Onslaught. If we have Onslaught, we can never lose. I can also just play Magic on right next turn. Trading the Sarah effect. But, in exchange for the Sarah effect, I get one more... No, I don't get anything, actually. That's shitty. That's stupid. I was thinking, like... No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Good. Fine! Let me guess, it'll be a US agent and I'll be dead. I'm down, I'm down, I'm okay, I'm, I'm fine. I'll maybe have to play magic just in case. Or like Nocturne shit. I'll live. Like I said, I'll probably have to play Magic in case of Nocturne shit. There's the Nocturne shit. As usual. Like, you just gotta be prepped. You just gotta know. How do you know all these things? Dude, like... Trust me, if it's like the RNG outcomes that would decide the game, Romic is ready to lose all of them at a moment's notice, because every single time that's what happens. We lose access to Elysium by doing this. I can get another Iron Man proc, but like not like it'll do anything to me. I'll take double cost reduction instead. Oh man, what a game! It's so irritating. Instead of Ravona, I should probably play Super Scroll, but what do I know what he'll play? What I need is Onslaught. Annihilus, of course. I trade some energy for tempo. It's gonna be down to the fucking wire, isn't it? Ah, wire. He can't swap both of them. Unless, looks at camera, just... If it's US Agent, I'm just gonna give up. Like, there is nothing I can fucking play anymore that just doesn't die to... Insert, of course, he plays tech card here. Like, okay... I mean, he's always dead to just a normal tribunal board. I made two limbos just because of Nocturne. If anything, he should have played Nocturne on right, forget the Limbo, tried to swap out nowhere and try to interact with me. Such is our judgment. We drew Onslaught. Well, boys. That's it. Should hopefully be enough. Like, I don't know. He needs a shitload. 
things like Mockingbird and then even more after that to extend. He needs so much. Like, he needs so much. If it's like US Agent, I'm fucking dead. I can't beat US Agent. Okay. There's the Mockingbird. Roulette table. Okay. Oh! And we win 8 cubes. For the final game of the video. We win 8 cubes. Like, it's just... If that Gambit hit Iron Man, I just would've said... Of course. L like, what else would happen? But yay, we won. 8 cubes for us. Winning us the final 8 cubes. And this video was very cube intensive. And we got back to top 100. There you go. I'll give him a Deadpool emoji. And now, boys, let's go back to deck edit. Spectacularly done by us. We've shown off that negative Tribunal is probably the best variant of Tribunal. It very much competes with Bling Tribunal, and this is probably the Hella deck for the latter right now, because if you want a, just a very straightforward combo deck, this requires executing a simple game plan of you have to go for Sarah Onslaught, you gotta roll the odds sometimes to try to win. Otherwise, like, there is no real Sarah, like, not, not like a Sarah combo deck, like a Hella combo deck where you just, like, turn your brain off. This deck requires a lot more skill, a lot more nuance, you gotta know what you gotta know. And when you fail those tribunal lines, you'll feel like shit. But when you win it, bro, you're like at the top of the world. But boys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure of course you get a like, comment, subscribe, make sure of course follow my Twitch channel below. And now, I was wrong with the video of Snap Mania. I love you all, and take care of yourself.